Hello, David Clark here from DVC Training, and I'm going to give you a short tour of a simple little program which is called EDIUS Manager. It is free, and you can download it from edius.net. I'll put a link in the description. Very simple program. I've already got it installed, and I'm just going to start it up. I've had it installed for some time, so there happens to be an update, so I'm just going to choose to update it. Then it prompts me to download the new file. Here's the file. Just double click on it to run it, install it, and back into it. Now this program is being developed quite a lot, so you might see some changes between the version you're using and the one that I've got here. I'm recording this video in February of 2019. What it is is a program that just gives you useful information about EDIUS and the projects. I mean, you've got different tabs along the top here. News is pretty straightforward. It shows you news. The EDIUS tab just tells you which version of EDIUS is installed and whether there's any updates for it. But the most useful things I find are plugins and tools. So let's have a look at the plugins. So what you get here is a list of lots of plugins that you could possibly have inside of EDIUS. And you notice I've got some which are installed, like this Ignite Pro plugin, and others, all these gray ones, which I haven't got because I haven't bought them. There's also this thing here in red saying, I've got neat video, but there's an update for it. So that's the first thing. It's just a very easy way to check if your plugins are up to date. And if it says there's an update, click on the update button and it should take you to the right place to download the plugin. Obviously, this is taking me to neat video. I'm going to log in with my account and then download the update to neat video and install it. Let's jump to the tools tab because this is my other really very useful bit. This thing, analyze project file for missing filters. Now you'll know that if you've got EDIUS, if you open a project which has got some plugins and they're not there anymore, then it just comes up with something saying there's some filters missing. It doesn't tell you what's missing. It's kind of quite annoying, especially if you do run with a lot of different plugins. I have uninstalled Vitacine, and I'm going to go and open a project which uses that. And you can see here it says, oh, there is a missing filter. Doesn't tell me what it is, though. Doesn't tell me where it is on the timeline. Just clicking around on the open timelines I've got here. Maybe I can find it. Oh, oh and yep, here you can see I've, uh, I've got a bit of video here which has got a negative effect on it. You click on the right clip here. You can see, yep, that's got a dummy video filter on it. So there's my missing effect, but I still don't know what it is. Now, if I go back into EDIUS Manager, go to the tools and click Analyze Project for Missing Filters, and select that project, you'll notice it now says, oh, look, you're missing Vitacine. Got a list of other effects that are used. They're all there. It's just saying that that one is one that's missing. OK, got to download that and install it. But at least it's telling me the missing filter so I can install it, open the project again, and then everything will be alive. I'm going to click on the details, click on website, and it takes me to edius.net that tells me all about Vitacine. And from there, I can actually go to the download page. And if they're allowed to, there'll be a download for it here. We are Vitacine 3 full. I'm just going to download that and then install it and activate it. And yep, I will have Vitacine back on my computer. And that project will be alive. One of the most useful things I find about this program, basically being able to analyze projects. It's not perfect and sometimes it goes wrong. They're updating plugins all the time. Sometimes the program itself needs an update to recognize an updated plugin. But most of the time I find this solves this kind of problem if I've got something missing and I don't know what it is. Apart from that, obviously you have the driver tab. Now the driver tab here is showing me the drivers for any hardware that I've got inside the computer. I've got a Blackmagic Intensity Pro 4K. It tells me the drivers for that are up to date. Actually, if I click on the details button, it's telling me the drivers I've got are 10.11.0.0. And as I do this, the latest drivers are 10.11.4. So it actually has got new drivers available. But this thing isn't telling me there are new drivers available. That's because what it's telling me is these are the drivers which they recommend. You know, Blackmagic bring out new drivers all the time. Sometimes they don't do anything to do with EDIUS. Sometimes they even cause problems. So these are the latest drivers they recommend rather than the latest available drivers. And then finally, under settings, you've got simple things like language. But it's a very simple little program. Now, if you want to get hold of that, say it's free, just go to edius.net or use the link in my description or search for EDIUS Manager on edius.net. And there you can just download the program and install it. It's pretty simple, doesn't get in the way of anything and can be helpful for you. So I'd definitely recommend going and getting that. OK, hope you found that video useful. Contact me, david at dvctraining.co.uk for information on systems and support and EDIUS. Visit the website www.dvctraining.co.uk where you can order EDIUS 9, 
as well as my own tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.